Good morning, everyone. It's a beautiful day here in Georgia. The birds are chirping. I'll give you a quick tour of two things. I think I'll first start with the Durana Clover that I started last November 2019. And currently it's uh, March the 13th here in Georgia. And I'll just give you quick results on what I have. So just to give you a quick history, this side yard used to be just weeds and mud. And it was a lot of just nothingness. And I thought it was going to be hopeless because at that point I've tried so much grass. And I've done some research about this clover lawn. So um, I actually used a local um, clover called Durana. And this is how it's looking like. So I'm overall very satisfied with it. Right now it's about, about three inches tall, but it's just this beautiful green clover that's starting to get thicker and thicker by the day. Um, just to give you an idea, I started the backyard and the side yard at the same time. And this is how it used to look like when I started it. So as you can see, this is the bare portion of it. And that's how it was four months after. Uh, further, there would be that backyard and the vegetable garden, which I also sown some Durana. And I'm gonna show you the results of it. But I am generally satisfied. So when I was doing some lawn researches about clover and how it brings back nitrogen to the ground. Um, I came about a lot of different breeds uh, or varieties like micro clover, Dutch white, red clover, but I ended up using Durana because it was um, a good uh, local variety that was made here in Georgia. Uh, this is another bare lawn. And I started the seed with it. As you can see, there's still some bare spots, but slowly growing in there, slowly filling it up. And that is how it used to look like. I haven't seeded this area yet. See how weeds and mud is everywhere and moss? That's how this whole side yard used to look like. This is where the cut line is. So I'm gonna reseed again later in the fall and see how it works. Um, that's my vegetable garden currently at the works. Uh, I know this is not an ornamental kind. It's more of a farming deer pot kind, but uh, I think it's worth a try. And um, you know what? If I don't like it, then I'm going to have to live with it. <laughs> but just to show you how it is in a residential application setting and how it starts. So if you have any questions, um, or if you have any tips, just uh, message me, leave a comment. And I sure appreciate it if you guys also can share something about Dorena.